Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Panch Plays. This year I've been getting pretty hyped about holiday decorating in Animal Crossing New Horizons. I'm looking forward to touring Odd's Island today, Flavortown. Odd's description of her island sounds absolutely festive. Flavortown is a wintry, Christmas-themed five-star village. The villagers love coming together on dark snowy nights to enjoy the snow and all the lights of the island. Let's dive right into the tour and explore Flavortown together. Oh no, I was supposed to record this video. And now all of a sudden Whitney's coming over. I don't know if I can dream while Whitney's here. Whitney? <laughs> Where are you? Oh yes. It's my first time I've had Whitney come over. Hello. High card, low card. I'm gonna guess low. Oh, nailed it. Right, we're gonna have to try this on. Whoa, so cool. We are gonna go on a Christmas Island tour. So I'm gonna put back on my festive dress. Whitney, are you gonna let me have a nice rest? I bet it's gonna be like, you can't sleep, you have company. <laughs> you have company, save the sleeping for later. Whitney, go home. All right, all right. Sorry, I'm gonna have to send you home. Okay, I don't think. Okay, she is gonna leave. Where is she? Okay, there we go. Perfect, perfect. Do not stay a bit longer. Okay, goodbye. Oh, we're right in winter time and gifts are stacking up. Beautiful. We're dreaming peacefully of an island named Flavortown. <gasps> oh, it's beautiful already. Okay, before I dive in, I'm gonna take a look at the map. Okay, so we have Odd, Dom, Olive, Zell, Melba, B, Maple, Eric, Kitty, Shino, and Coco. Good villagers. I love to start my tours as if I was coming in from the airport entrance. I don't know, it's just a habit of mine. So let's head on in. Look how wintry and beautiful it is. That just looks like such a nice horizon line. Let's go in. We've got bicycles parked. It looks like we're in a, um, a rental area here. How cool! So nice. Rent a yacht. Ooh. Oh, wow. Check out this shop. It looks so fancy. It's really lovely. Let's head. Up. I'm gonna head left. Well, hmm. yeah, I'll head left first. So we'll head into this, it looks like a community farm to me. Beautiful. Oh. Wow, that looks really pretty with all the different glowing moss here. Chill around this rock. I love it. This farm is huge. I like that it's guarded by this gnome. Oh, hello. And the beaches are left nice and simple. You see what a cute touch this is? I love that. Just a little, little watering can on there. Okay, I'm gonna head up past the shop here. Oh, this is so pretty. 
So relaxing. Enjoy a little beverage. Ooh, check this out. You got your hand sanitizer, perfect. Welcome to into the museum. It's, I like how the museum has extended out. And, oh, wow. Oh, putting the gyroids on these stands, it really elevates them, so fancy. This is really cool. Head back to the main street here. Oh my goodness. Bakery. These buildings are incredible. I love the layering of the castle and the medieval sides. That looks really nice. More parking. And that brings us back into the center where we started here. There is a nice place to gather. I could totally see this being like a place where you would have big community events, you know? Really extends the plaza. Very pretty. I like how it's it's clearly a city, but there's such a natural vibe to it. Oh. Here's a campsite. This is really lovely. It's very structured. I like it a lot. That's very cool. And you can have friends. And this way. Oh, wow. That's a really nice layering effect there. <gasps> so cool. Now this is where you party. Outdoor pool with projector. That's so cool. Head on up. So festive. So many nice little spots to sit. Relax with friends. Ooh. We're at a house. Let's go inside. That brick is lovely as well. Looks so good in the snow. This is so modern and fresh looking. I love it. Very nice. Very light and fresh. The um the windows is a really cool effect with the um all the layering that's in here. Let's go into the side room first. The stockings are hung by the couch with care. That is so cool. I really like this bathtub area. It feels so private. Very nice. There's life in here, the vines on the wall. Feels like the room is alive, you know? Head to the top. Oh, lovely bright white kitchen. Having the bags of grocery on the counters makes it feel very lived in. Very cool. The white and the natural tones. Look at these little tiny stools. So cute. So fancy. It feels like a glamorous closet in a way, like a dressing room. I'd like to get ready for the day in a room like this.
I really like the color palette that's going on in this house. It feels like a house that I would want to live in, you know? <gasps> Ooh! Fancy! This feels like a room that you could stream in. And look, you can hang out. Very cool. You get a lot of content creation done in here. Look at how many monitors are in this room. We have the four from the main, the secondary computer, the laptop, and of course, your Nintendo. And the pink tree. Really sweet. I just noticed the cat tree in the corner. Love it. So nice. Everything feels so alive. The green and the white. The rugs really tie the room together. Very pretty. Again, I would also live here. So nice. Alright, let's continue back outside. Oh. Just such a pretty, pretty island. The snow is falling beautifully. I like this time of day for this island because all the lights are showing on all the trees. The car lights even just stand out. Look at the layers of this island, right? Terraforming is lovely. It's like a very structured terraform and I'm into it. Head this way. Ah, oh, so cool. All the sitting areas feel so special. I'm like, which way should we go? Okay, I'm gonna head up into this neighborhood area first, and then head back around. Sorry, I'm distracted, I'm distracted. There's too many beautiful things to look at. These buildings are incredible. Okay, I'm gonna head up into the neighborhood area, and then we'll head back to the right later. Uh, check out, like, that's such a nice view. Going straight up into the Christmas tree. So lovely. I love this. They have all Christmas decorations between their house. Christmas trees on the door. They're so coordinated. Presents! And then the double layer. You can stay warm and cozy. Ah. <laughs> Very pretty. The ornaments look so nice. Oh, ooh, 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 ooh. I want to get down here. That looks so cool. Okay, I'm getting distracted. Sometimes I see something on the corner of my eye, and I'm like, I want to be there right now. Yeah, the neighborhood is so organized and beautiful. Ooh. I like the vegetation here combined with the pillars. It makes it feel like the town has been here for a very long time. Very nice. Oh wow, look at this little courtyard area. So pretty. Of course, snowflakes. Now how cool is this? It feels like an abandoned building here. Even the car is a little bit, you know, disheveled. <laughs> And everything is overgrown. This is a really clever use of the wheat field item to make it look like an overgrown yard. I love it. It's kind of spooky. And somehow it fits so well with the wintry vibe. Let me make sure I didn't see anything here. Very cool.
check that out. The combination of like the medieval sides with those looks so nice. And we're in our shopping area. We got our nooks cranny over here. Of course, shopping cart readily available in case you want to shop a lot. Able sisters. And lots of parking. It feels like a real city, you know? Oh, even growing the wheat looks really good. Let's go peek in here. It looks, oh, look at this. Like a little forest in here, very overgrown with all these beautiful blue hyacinths. That looks so good. The outskirts of the city are all grown in in the middle of a forest. And it leads you over to where you can go take a boat ride. This is very nice, extending the deck out. Just watching the flowers in the background, it's such a good feeling to walk through. And then we head back into the center of the Christmas Winter Village. This winter island turned out so beautiful. I love the wintry feeling. You have a really cozy vibe going on here. Before I end the video, I do want to show a few of my favorite areas that stood out to me. I really love the buildings that Odd has created on her island. It was really hard for me to pick my favorite. It's like a toss up between this bakery and the abandoned building. I really like them a lot. They have a lot of depth to them. And I just feel like this bakery, for example, like I feel like I'd just be at home here walking through my town and getting a scone or whatever. And I just really appreciate the vibe that's here. All over this island, I kept having to look up because I love the depth of all the layers that are on Odd's Island. She's really good at putting you know, multiple layers in the foreground and the background. It's not all just in a row. Like this view here, for example, is just one of the many examples that I could pull from this tour. So pretty. The neighborhood area is very well done. It has a really nice structure to it. All the houses are cohesive and the Christmas centerpiece that's in the middle of the neighborhood it's so pretty. Love the color story that's happening in this neighborhood. Thank you so much for watching this island tour. Special thanks to Odd for submitting her festive island. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me to this Christmas themed island. I'll be touring more Christmas islands between now and Christmas, so if you have a festive island or even an island with a holiday area, feel free to submit it for a chance to be toured. You can check that out in the description for more details. Thanks so much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already and have a fantastic holiday season. Bye.